What's up guys, this is Crypto with James talking to you today about Ethereum name service. Now let's talk about this seriously because I believe that they've got enough about them where with <clears throat> getting the right people involved, which they already have with a number of celebs, I can see the surge that will come for, for Ethereum uh, domains. I think it's inevitable and I think we're probably we've probably got ethereum nerves service right now is probably immensely undervalued um also going into the fomc uh, meeting that started today the press conference is tomorrow i want to look at predictions in terms of uh what could happen if there's a somewhat dovish uh meeting and less than expected break hikes uh because this would have a hugely positive impact on the markets before i get into that though guys I update the spreadsheet. Now, if you're new to the channel, you might be going, James, don't know who you are, don't know why I should listen to you. So let me tell you. These are the first 26 coins I spoke about on this channel. They were the first 26 coins I held when I made this channel. Had you put in $100 into each of these coins and ignored them for a year, been the worst investor in the history of investing, never looked at them, just ignored them. And two years on, you would still be in profit from your investment by 8,800 bucks. And you invested 2,600 if you'd put 100 into each. So still massive profit, even when you've done everything wrong. If you did everything right, if you got into those coins and you sold them last year when the markets absolutely flew up, you could have made 123 grand. That's the difference between doing the right thing and the wrong thing. Massive difference. Now, I sold these last year. These are not the coins I hold. If you want to see the coins I own, go read copymycrypto.com. On that site, I share my portfolio. I share every coin I buy. I share every coin I sell. I have beginner's tutorials because we've got lots of members that have never invested in anything. So there's no barrier to entry. These are the same videos I send to friends and family that want to get into crypto, but I don't have time to go and sit with them and do it. Um, guys, I deep dive these markets every day. As you can see from the spreadsheet, there's massive gains here. I, and I'll be making these next bull cycle as well, these 40Xs, 50, 60, hundreds. And if you want to make these gains and take the work out of it for yourself, where you don't have to research everything because that's all I do, you can copy along. Phantom you see at the top, that's a, a Udemy course I did. I said it was the single best investment of the year. I've no, never made more than one Udemy course. It's a 100% record. But when I find the next Phantom, and I will, I'm just going to go onto the site and tell the members, so if you want to learn about which coin is going to be the big gainer for the next bull cycle, get in early and go read that site. Link, guys, is in the description. Right. Ethereum name service. Uh, market cap, 340 million. Price point, 16 bucks. Um, this has a real shot. As you can see by the title, this has a shot of doing something special. And the reason I'm saying that is fundamentally... I believe people are going to be clamoring for Ethereum-based domains. They just are. The goal of the whole Ethereum name service is to <clears throat> make Ethereum-based web, uh, Ethereum -based web easier um, to access and comprehend for, anyone, for, for all people. <clears throat> so ENS is effectively the naming system based on the Ethereum blockchain. So ENS converts human readable Ethereum addresses like john.eth into the machine readable codes that you know from MetaMask. The beauty of this is that the reverse conversion also is possible. So what it means is sending money can be so much more straightforward as well. They launched an airdrop, um, a highly successful air, retroactive airdrop in November 2021 that rewarded users who had registered addresses before the project launched its token. Um, however, in Feb 2022, it faced criticism over apparently homophobic tweets by Director of Operations. Just be smart. Just be smarter. Don't take the hit. Don't, don't be dumb. <laughs> is literally what I want to say. Now, Look, the point of this is, is it means you can get wallets, you can get websites, you can get everything up and running that makes your life simpler if you're using Ethereum. <clears throat> Registering the domain is a piece of piss. It's the same as how you would buy a domain 
in real life, like with the no with, with normal internet, very, very simple. It means sending money is simpler. It means integration into other websites is simpler. The whole premise makes sense. Creating decentralized websites. You can launch censorship resistant websites. Think how many websites require, should be censorship, censorship resistant. And if they are, where are they going to go? They're going to go here. You can't be trusted to get that, to be able to do that on a .com or .org or any of those craps. But a .eth would work perfectly. And we've seen a huge clamoring last year of celebrities rushing in to embrace Web3, to embrace an Ethereum domain. We saw Paris Hilton, we saw Jimmy Fallon, we saw Anthony Hopkins, Shaquille O'Neal. Um, and that was just last year. Now, think about this. Fundamentally, what we're going to see is a huge shift inevitably in how people want uh in the sites that they want to create we're seeing a real push an an, an anti-censorship push these days and we should do because censorship is, has become a joke in in these massive social media sites it's staggering ens can stop that ens is going to end up having a clamoring of big big websites big big companies that start buying up an ens domain we're going to see celebrities once again clamoring for this they move markets never ever ever ignore the potential for a celeb or a big big company buying up an eth domain and that having an enormous impact on ens think about what happened with kardashian talking about ethereum maxi look think about what happened to um board eight yacht clubs when we start seeing celebrities buying them up blew up Think about what happens to Doge when Elon Musk does a tweet. Flies. ENS has a really unique selling point. It's very different from anything else we've seen out there. Fundamentally, there is a belief that over the next five to ten years, .eth is going to be a more val those domains are going to be more valuable than .com de domains. .com domains are used for business. ETH domains are a private identifier. It's the personal domain most people need when they're browsing Web3. So there is, there is a, a really clever scenario here where <coughs> as, we see a dot, as, as we see Web3 come into fruition, .eth, has, .eth domains are going to have so much more relevance. It's also, which I don't like, but it's effectively like a digital identity. Now, I don't like that. I've always been very anti-digital identities. I think there, there's two, I think with any more documentation about yourself, I think there's gonna be more ways for, for governments to get what they want from you. But ENS uh, effectively uh, improves the circumstances for anyone that wants to participate or use Web3 or send money. There is no downside to this right now. And I do think we're going to see a huge surge in the amount of big companies and big, big, big celebrities that want to start using this. We just are. And as a result, the price point of this can fly up, it can absolutely fly up. You know, 100 bucks, and that would put it at like a market cap of 2 billion. A sod all for what could end up being the most valuable sort of domains going. It just makes sense. Um, and that's it. Look, fundamentally, you have to acknowledge like so the fundamentals of this project are outstanding, but what's better than the fundamentals here is the fact that you're, as, as Web3 becomes more prevalent, these domains are going to be more necessary. The purpose of these fits so perfectly with the future of, <coughs> of, in, of the internet. And celebrities always want to be on the hottest trend. So they will jump on this again in the next bull cycle. When we board eight yacht clubs going wild, it will be Ethereum domains. 
And I can see this as a price point going absolutely sky, like skyrocketing. Um, and it could do way, way more than 100, really. You know, it, feasibly, again, it could do a couple hundred bucks. It really could. Could do more because there's going to be a necessity for it as Web3 gets better and better and better and better and better. But that's my thesis. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. If you are a returning viewer, hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel immensely in a lot of ways. We're trying to get that percentage down to 70% of people that are returning that haven't subscribed. At the moment, we're on 74%. So if you hit that subscribe button, you can help me in my target. I would appreciate that immensely. Um, and guys, if you want to see the coins I own, go read copymycrypto.com. It's where I share my entire portfolio, every coin I buy and every coin I sell. I also share, uh, I also have a ton of beginners tutorials for anyone that wants to get into crypto because uh, there's tons of people on the site that have never invested before. I deep dive these markets daily. Every waking hour is dedicated to deep diving these markets and finding coins that I think can do huge gains that can change your life. 40x, 50x, 60x, hundreds of x's. Phantom, 677. When I find the next Phantom, of course I'm going to. I'm going to be constantly working at that. And when I find the next one, I'm going to go on the site and tell the members, not create some Udemy course. So those, all of the members will be able to get in early on that. I do all the work and you can copy along. It's as simple as that. Go read the site now. And FOMC, JP Morgan <clears throat> has said that the S&P 500 would surge at least 10% if there was just a 50 basis point hike. JP Morgan firmly believe that the stock markets would surge 10%. If the stock markets, guys, surge 10%, what do you think happens to bit to crypto? 20%, 30%. There's, they, they threw, the trading desk actually threw out the scenarios. A 50 basis point hike with a dovish press conference, which is just a positive one, up anywhere from 10 to 12 percent. 50 basis point hike and a hawkish, miserable press conference, up 4 to 5 percent. <clears throat> a 75 basis point hike and a dovish press conference, 2.5 to 3 percent. A 75 basis point hike and a hawkish press conference, which is the most likely outcome, because Jerome Powell's never fucking happy, um, down 1% to up half a percent. 100 basis point hike and a dovish press conference um, would be down 4 to 5%, and a 100 basis point hike and a hawkish press conference, 6 to 8%. Um, the 100 basis point looks unlikely, uh, so does the 50 basis. I think, I think we all expect and are well aware that a 75 basis point hike seems the plan. Um, but I always say this on every video I do when press conferences are coming up, especially the, Fed, the FOMC, these are the most enjoyable trading events. Watch the minute by minute charts. They are fascinating. You can learn a lot about how the markets, about perception of the markets. It's truly a really interesting thing to watch. Um, but Again, if you know when you're looking at these scenarios, bear in mind, obviously that's for the stock market. With crypto, you can pre pretty much times everything by two or two between two and three times. So if there was a 50 basis point hike and a really positive press conference, 20 to 30 percent would be Bitcoin's rally, and then and the altcoins would fly like wildfire. Um, but let's see. I think it's all fairly doubtful. I think we've probably got 75 base point hike and a miserable last press conference. Let's have a look. Anyway, that's it from me, guys. Take it easy. Bye-bye.